hey welcome back to crypto crypto and uh, today we are going to be uh, looking at quant um it's a little bit of a slow mover 1.5 percent up today but uh i've got some exciting charts to show you that uh hints at a massive breakout and uh, before we dive into the technical so just hit the like button and subscribe so let's just get into the nitty gritty. Right now we are exactly $100 per quant. The market cap $1.2 billion. And the volume in the past 24 hours is uh, down by 31%. So um, let's go to the charts and I'll start with the four hourly chart. Things are really getting interesting right now. The price action is uh, in a bit of a squeeze. Remember this price action right here on the 21st of August at 8 o'clock. So this downward sloping resistance line meeting its match with a, some kind of a downward sloping support line. It's like uh, a crypto tug of war. Once Quant closes a four hourly candle, above that resistance then we might just be on the brink of a breakout right here at 102 one, 101 dollars uh and after that where is it headed well i think it could spring to the top of the falling wedge at around 112 dollars we have these right here we touched that on the 11th of november which is uh, from now to then is about 12%. So yeah, let's take a scroll down to, let's just go to the daily chart. Quant has been painting this, uh, I think masterpiece in sideways action for about 166 days, I mean, it's been uh, ping-ponging between that 94 and $112, quite a long time. I mean, it has really found this cozy support around that $94 each time it's tip. So, um, there's always a bird, right? The real party begins when Quant manages to close a daily candle above that $112.50, about that. So that's a ticket to the moon, and I'm not uh, talking about a leisure lunar stroll. We are talking about a potential rocket launch. So this is uh, this one has got some, some really tales to tell. There is this persistent downward sloping, you know, right here. This daily chart, uh, downward sloping resistance line that's been uh, playing hard to get since October 9th, 2022. Even if you have to remember, we had this other line and we we definitely did. Uh, there was a breakout here, but we've come and bounced on that, and uh, yeah, things are looking a little bit grime but it seems there is that downward pressure it's like breaking out of that crypto prison you know we've closed multiple daily candles beyond this line and a possible shift from the bearish to the bullish well there is but we are not popping the champagne just yet um we need to see quants break above that one i would say forget 112 114 is where is where is where things will start moving. That's a deal breaker. We are talking about establishing the higher highs, higher lows, shaking off that shackles of uh, the previous trend. So taking a look at some fundamentals. You no, know, just a couple of days ago, Quant dropped a paper bomb. You remember they are flexing their muscles on long-term tech advancement. If we go to their Twitter handle, I'm sure you see something there. 
So they are focusing on interoperability and tokenization, and they are also building the groundwork for the future. And this is uh, crucial, but uh, this doesn't always translate to immediate price jumps. It's like building the foundation before constructing the skyscraper, right? So here is a million dollar question. Are you in for the quick win or are you placing your bets in Quant's long-term vision? Uh, if you want to ride the crypto wave with uh, with me, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. Turn on the notification bell and you can join the channel membership and uh, you'll be able to get some insights as I roll them out. You know, talking about Quants and Chainlink, let's compare them. You know, if we roll back since October 2022, we have um, Quant really outshone Chainlink. But uh, you no, know, recently Chainlink stole the show, outpacing Quant by a open 79%. But you guessed it, right? There is always a bet. Quant against Chainlink is now hanging out at the some kind of familiar support zone and if history repeats itself we might be gearing up for a bounce in the coming weeks or months so quant or chain link the better buy is uh, right now well you make your decision but my bet is on quant considering that we are trading at this support against chain link now for the eagle-eyed enthusiasts those who can see what we don't see uh, let's pick at quants against Ethereum. Let's talk about that. There's a potential bullish uh, divergence in the works on the weekly charts on quant Ethereum. Lower lows for quants against Ethereum since April 2023, but you have higher lows in the price action against Ethereum. So it's like uh, crypto poetry in motion. But Yes, yeah, that picky, but again, you know, we need to see a confirmed bullish RSI divergence. So keep an eye out for this big engulfing uh, green candle in the weekly chart. So if you have made it this far, congrats. I mean, you're officially a quant aficionado. Smash that like button again and share the love and drop your thoughts in the comment. So uh, that was it for the quick updates for Quant. Where do you think Quant will be? Can we hit a thousand dollars in the near future or by the end of 2024? I want to know your thoughts because I do think we'll get there. It's a long way, but I mean, it's easily achievable. Remember that we had gone to almost uh, $422. So a thousand yeah it shouldn't be any problem especially by the end of 2024 and everybody is suggesting that we are entering a crypto bull run right now so the party might just be getting started so uh, that's why i'm convinced anyway that's it for the quick updates thanks for tuning in if you're hungry for more updates hit that subscribe button and uh, i'll catch you in the next one cheers